Hello folks, welcome to another video. So today we are going to talk about a technique called as uh, broken access control. So broken access control actually comes with two forms. One is horizontal access uh, where you can access another user's data. For example, you are user one and you are able to access another user's data, user two. So that, that comes under horizontal access. And then there is vertical access. For example, let's say that you are a user in the website and you are able to access the data of an administrator then that comes under the vertical axis so today we are going to see that how we can do a vertical access using a technique called as request parameter uh, authentication so let's start with that so this is a simulated website which resembles an actual, actual website which has that vulnerability so we are currently going to see how we can do that so first i will go to my account here and try to log in as a user here you can see the username and password here i have a username and password which uh, has access to this so i'll just uh, log in here So here you can see that I have actually logged in as Wiener and uh, the password and you can see account ID is Wiener. So after that what I am going to do is I am going to the home page. So this is the home page of the user uh, who is actually only a user in this website. So what I am going to do next is I am going to use intercept here. I will switch on the intercept here and then what I will do is I will go to the admin page panel. So as you guys know, uh, admin page, these endpoints can be found by another tool. I have created another video for it called Ferox Buster Video, where you can find all the endpoints that is uh, related to a website, which are active. So you can see that video also. I'll give the description. Uh, I'll give the video in the description. So here I'm going to do admin. Yeah. We have to forward this request here. forward everything and yeah, actually here you can see admin interface only available if user is logged as an administrator that means we see that uh, only the person who is logged as an admin can access this interface but we need to see how this actually works here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reload this once again here you can see some of the parameters in the cookie and here you can see admin equal to false so using this uh, we can see it here also you see this inspector will give you a nice view where you can see all the parameters that is within the request you see the protocol is http2 and uh, you can see method get and the path is admin and request parameters these are all empty we don't have to go there and we can see the cookies here also so here you can see there is admin cookie is false here and session id is present so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a true here instead of false I'm going to change it into true and forward it let's see how it reflects here and you can see I'm able to access the admin panel here so let's forward this also and as you can see I'm able to see the two users that are within this website so what I'm going to do is I need to delete this uh, user here. So I'll just uh, switch off the intercept here and I'll try to delete it. But uh, again, you can see that uh, again, uh, you see the value actually changed into true on the back end. So again, I'm not able to access that page. And what it means is I don't have access to delete that user in this one. So let's see how we can sort it. So we have a feature in WebSuite called as find and replace. So we have to kind of use that find and replace to replace uh, the cookies with the value that we want. So let's uh, start the intercept once again. And we'll try to access that. First we'll go home.
and then we'll access the admin interface. So again, here you can see admin is false. So what I'm going to do is instead of uh, changing it here, I'm going to change the settings itself. So here in proxy settings, you have a feature called as find and replace, match and replace rules. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a rule, request header, match here, admin as false. So instead of admin as false, I'm going to make it admin as true. A comment, cookie admin equal to admin true. So just to identify this, and then I'm going to say OK. Yeah. And you can see this uh, rule has been enabled. So that means it will automatically do for every request. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to minimize this and we can stop the intercept and we can go to that. And once again, we can load it and you can directly see that uh, it automatically replaces that false to true. And we are directly able to see the admin page here. After that, we can try to delete this user. And you see that I am able to delete the user itself. So this is how we can do a vertical access in this uh, like uh, broken access control vulnerability. And we are able to actually access the administrator page of this website. And we are ab able to ac actually delete the user. So this you can use it as a penetration testing report also. Also, you can use this vulnerability to provide a get a bug bounty also. So that's it for uh, today, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.